Hey, welcome back. Thanks for coming along. So this is a the third one in This Adequate Life, uh, episode three, I should say. And this is one that I wanted to do kind of very early on. So I guess it's still pretty early on. And it's about leaving Facebook and how it isn't that hard. Because I've seen a lot of people saying, oh, uh, obviously Facebook's turned out to be... Um, there's one of those ums again that I was not going to do. Uh, has turned out to be kind of a bit of a, a, a scam, really, in terms of how they accumulate data and on-sell it. I guess when we all signed up to Facebook, we assumed that they were going to sell us some ads and, and we could live with a few ads down the side or something and that that's how they'll make their money. But obviously with things like Cambridge Analytica and any other kind of companies that would be making use of everybody's personal data, Facebook's turned out to be a bit of a beast and there were some articles saying how do you leave them, you know, obviously everybody's become accustomed to being connected in that way, people saying oh I, I keep up with family and friends and all that sort of thing. Now the one thing I want people to think about is um, there was always this thing about when you do sort of go on holiday and then come back with a whole bunch of slides or photos it's always been one of those common understandings that you don't want to sit through someone else's uh, you know, slides for their holiday. It was one of those jokes, running jokes that you'd see in movies and TV shows about, oh, great, we're going to have to go around and watch somebody's vacation slides. And yet, day in, day out, everyone is sharing with everyone else what they're doing, including vacations, but also just what they've had for breakfast and that kind of stuff. Uh, and that's across the board with a lot of social media. And Facebook's really uh, been the most insidious in how it's evolved I guess. I mean I, I think back when I first got involved with social media it was MySpace and that was pretty straightforward. I mean what was pretty unwieldy about it was everybody had all these different designs to their uh, pages so that depended on you know how good they were somewhere a little more attractive and a little bit easier to download than others but uh, it depended on your internet speed I guess. And what was cool about it, though, is that people had shared interests and there was often this connection through hyperlinks to reach other people. So it was kind of doing what you might expect social media to do, connecting people with shared interests. And, and uh, there was something kind of naive and, and friendly about it. I mean, I'm not sure what was going to happen with MySpace because Facebook then came along and everyone moved to there. And I got invited to join. It was invite only and it was an opportunity to catch up with friends from overseas. So that's definitely one of those excuses to stay with them. And it was one of the one things that it was one of one of the few things I really thought about before I left Facebook. But I'm going to talk about leaving Facebook and how easy it actually is and how you don't actually miss it. And I'm also not on Instagram, so it's not just replacing it with something else. And Instagram's owned by them anyway. So who knows what they're doing with all of that data. So what happened is that I signed up and it was, again, uh, kind of innocent to begin with because there was a whole lot of poking, throwing pies, uh, emojis and icons and you could play games with friends. I think even looking at events and parties and stuff and invites seemed to work a lot better because you actually saw just what your friends invited you to, whereas I think it evolved at some point where my whole event calendar was just crowded with a whole lot of things that I didn't want to go to, but it just said, your friend is going to this, your friend's going to that, it was just all of that sort of braggadocious stuff, but not even my friends were posting that, it was just the way the Facebook algorithm just wanted to tell me about events happening nearby, which I wasn't interested in. Uh, that was towards the end, anyway. That was one of the reasons why I thought, well, this is not even good for a social calendar, it's not working for me anyway. But it was really the, um, well, you, there was a thing called friend harvesting. Uh, that was something that people used, the term where you start accumulating friends. And they're not even close friends. They're not actually real friends, but they're just people that you know, acquaintances, people who know you. I had, in the end, I had 500 friends. Uh, obviously, not really friends, but people, acquaintances who knew me in the art world, and I knew them. Maybe out of 500, 10 to 15 were completely sort of unknown to me. They were friends of friends, but I said okay anyway when they asked for friend requests. And that sort of, you get the, mo the momentum going, and, and it's a little bit of ego too. You think, wow, I've got so many people wanting to be my friend, as it were. And I've seen people with a thousand friends, which is complete bullshit. And we're not talking about celebrities, that's just friends I know who somehow got a following 
Uh, it may have been related to something they were doing. And like I said, within the art world, there was a lot of that, oh, you know, this is part of my art career is networking. So, but anyway, I did all of that. I was as guilty as anyone else. And so I had a lot of friends. Um, many of them were from overseas, people that even when I knew them in the past, we weren't close. But it was always that kind of nice connection going oh you know let bygones be bygones even if we didn't get along even if we fell out or what have you or just that you were in this crowd I was in that crowd but suddenly we're all we're all getting together on Facebook so there was something nice about that I, I won't deny it. Uh, the idea that family keep in touch I, I, I get that to some extent but why not just let people go you know just kind of have your kids go overseas and do things there's always email there's always the phone or phone Skype or whatever phone calls I guess I'm talking quite traditional in terms of how people used to keep in touch, which was via letters. There wasn't just this constant stream of here's what I'm doing today and here's what I'm doing tomorrow and here's what I'm doing right now. And that goes back to the whole thing of like, why is everyone broadcasting all the things that they're doing? And here I am creating a channel and broadcasting a bunch of stuff. But anyway, this is a, what is it, a sort of a service announcement. Uh, you can leave Facebook. It's not that hard. So... The way to do it, the way I did it, and oh, before, when I had 500 friends and my feed was just getting more and more news items, more things that were just kind of stressful and depressing, you know, the kind of things that you end up getting involved and in reacting to, which is how the algorithm wants you to react because it starts feeding more and more of, for me it was political stuff, environmental stuff, it was just tedious. And so I did cull 300 friends. Uh, which has real ramifications. I, I, it wasn't anything personal, but I got down to 200 friends for a while. I thought that um, I would get more of the people I wanted to see, you know, not so much of a whole lot of arbitrary uh, political announcements or what have you, that, and, and things people were following and articles and stuff that people were digesting and regurgitating and sharing and all that kind of stuff. Not that, you know, some of that stuff's good, but it wasn't a terrible echo chamber. Fortunately, I had a few friends that brought in a few things that I wouldn't have necessarily sought out. So, I mean, the information, it wasn't too bad. It was here and there, although there was some, why I mean, there was somebody who did follow a lot of weird and wacky stuff. That might have to be another um, episode when I talk about that person. They, and they were real, so they weren't some Russian bot. I actually met this person. And the stuff that they put out was just um, incredible. It was everything, you know, anti-vaxxing, uh, you know, all that stuff. Um, she was one of the ones I removed out of the 300. So I got down to 200, and even then I wasn't satisfied. And I was starting to get in those arguments with people too. I mean, that does happen. And it just isn't healthy, basically. Because you can't sit across from someone, and you can't sort of gauge each other's emotions. So you can't really react effectively or efficiently. Uh, you're just smashing away at the, t the keyboard, trying to get across a point, and it doesn't, there's no tone, nothing Nothing comes through very clear in any of that typed up text. So that was another reason for me to go, that's it, I'm out. And I gave 30 reasons why. So I counted down 30 days for a whole month and let everyone know. So I, I kind of, I didn't know if everybody was going to get that in their feeds, but I kind of wanted to share it in a way that uh, at least people could understand that I had a lot of reasons to leave. And it wasn't kind of to get attention. It was literally to share why I was leaving. And if they might feel the same way, then that possibly they could consider leaving. A lot of people have since told me, oh, I don't use it very much anymore, but you're still on there. So this is all about actually shutting it down, not just um, parking it for a while, which they offer you, you know, you can turn it off for a bit and then come back to it. So I wanted to shut it down completely and they make it very easy. To be fair, what you do is you download, there's two forms of download. I think one is an open source um, piece of software. The other one might, not proprietary, but I can't remember what it was, um, but there were two file types to, that you could download and save all your data as. So I saved as both. Um, one seemed to be a little bit higher than the other one. So I considered that, you know, maybe a little more archival, like a TIFF file or something. But obviously I was tagged in a lot of photos amongst friends. It, it, it grabbed all of that. I mean, whether that's frightening or not, I don't know. But it, it, it took all of that. 
put it into a nice package that I have since saved. And so if I, if I want to go back to any of the um, conversations, any of the uh, message, direct messaging that I was involved with and, and chatting to people, um, the pictures I could say that I was tagged in. So, so old photos from friends overseas, uh, photos I don't have. So that, that was kind of important. I said goodbye to people. I, I got in touch via email with some people. So not everybody, but I, I said, Let, let's try and keep in touch. Um, so there's probably still an opportunity to network with those that I've lost and those are friends that are overseas. But to be honest, it was really only ever voyeuristic to see what they were doing and perhaps vice versa. We, you know, thumbs up and stuff on things. But were we really keeping in touch? Were we really connected? I haven't missed it. I really haven't. Uh, I still think of those friends overseas. I'm not saying that I don't miss them. But the fact that I don't hear from them every day or every week or whatever, it hasn't been something that I've really felt a loss. Uh, I can email them or if I didn't get their email like I said I could go through somebody and say hey can you reach out to so-and-so I'm heading overseas I'd love to catch up with them actually see them in person uh yeah really uh, there may have been a couple of times where I thought oh I'd really like to tell people this and then I couldn't and I was like well that's actually a good thing because whatever it was it was probably something like here's something I'm really upset about or here's something that's really great putting up pictures of my kids. I'm, I'm glad I don't do that anymore. Um, so, and I didn't do it too much, but my wife still does it. She's still got a Facebook. Um, and no, I'm not sort of going through her either. Uh, she had a different set of friends. Hers works a little better. I think she's only got like 20 or 30 friends. So closer to real friends, right? Rather than a couple of hundred. And maybe, maybe you'd argue that that's my fault for having so so many so-called friends but uh, I did have a lot of uh, friends at least yeah I could say 100 150 were people that I would want to keep in touch with um, that was a big um and I think that's kind of what I wanted to say it's easy once it's done it's done it I, I, I've never looked back it's months and months and months ago I was a regular uh, user of it so it wasn't like I had already sort of um, withdrawn from it it was sort of like a decision that I had to make and I did make and it hasn't been one that I regret in the slightest and then all of the other stuff came out all of this um you know what they've been doing and it, it seems that they've gotten worse and worse so I'm, gra I'm glad I've left I do think that a social media platform of some description that works properly in the way that perhaps they did at the beginning would be nice. But, you know, can you trust them? I'd rather pay a dollar a month or a dollar a day or a dollar a week or something just to trust them. But would you? You'd probably still pay that and then they'd still be doing some dodgy stuff with your data. So anyway, here I am on YouTube. So it's a form of social media, I guess. So comment below. Tell me what you think. Uh, subscribe would be good. Uh, I guess you meant to say that, right? Um, and that's it. That's this one. I hope it's not too long. I hope you got through it. But it's easy to download. Shut it off. Three months later, they're supposed to have purged all my data. <laughs> I don't trust them at all. Um, but at least I'm not putting any more out there. At least they're not getting any more of my life out there on Facebook. So good luck. Shut it down. Get out of social media. Go outside. Meet people. Actually interact with people in person. Not just through a camera.